You know, I, and I've seen that too myself with, with kids who have gone through traditional programs and are not getting any benefit. The parent starts a gluten casein free diet or another modified diet. They might treat some yeast or deal with an underlying intestinal problem, and kids really start to turn around. How, you know, compared to the, the children in your clinics, who maybe there's some that aren't doing biomedical therapy as compared to some who are, what are the, the change in rates of response with some of these kids? You know, unfortunately, I don't think we have too many kids who are not doing biomedical anymore because we really do push an initial biomedical assessment because we feel that it's important for the kids. I do have some of our international sites, like in New Zealand and Australia, it's harder to actually start the, interven the medical intervention. So there we do have some children. And quite honestly, everything is watered down because you see the child's progress. In a lot of cases, the children are just not able to sit up and pay attention because they're in some sort of other you know, medical need. Um, and in some cases, the children are in just pain, so they have more self-symmetry behaviors, more uh, inattention, more uh, problems with paying attention to the stimuli, so things don't go as fast. And uh, in general, when we figure out the medical issues, just everything speeds up quite significantly. And so this is what, this is what really makes you unique, CARD unique, is because you understand the role of the medical issues, the biomedical approach, and this is why you're obviously bringing it forth I imagine very early on in your assessments. Right, yes, that's exactly Excellent. How do, you mentioned you're all over the country and you have, have some over, overseas connections as well. What, what states, you know, for an example, are you located? Well, we have 10 clinics right now in California. Um, we have a partnership in Arizona in Scottsdale, Phoenix. Uh, we're, there we work with Dr. Bradstreet as our medical partner. Uh, we also have an office with Thoughtful House in Texas. So there we work with Dr. Jepson. In California, of course, we work with a variety of physicians. Um, and uh, there aren't that many, as you know. You're <laughs> one of them, right? And uh, we're also in Virginia, in Sh Illinois, in uh, New York, two locations, uh, in South Carolina, and we are just about to open in Hawaii and uh, some other states coming up as well. Our international sites are um, in Australia and New Zealand right now. We just closed down our UK site, unfortunately, because of funding issues. But other than that, we're expanding. We're opening about one or two offices every, month, every year. That's true. So a lot of things on the horizon. How do people go about getting in contact? They obviously can access your information through our website, Autism Action Plan, but how would they go about you getting you directly or other ways? Um, our website is centerforautism.com, so they can go th directly through our website as well. Um, and there's link information to the headquarters where they can get started. We are also developing an entirely web-based uh, curriculum assessment and so on that's called Skills, and that's coming out uh, early 2009. That will have its own website as well, but it'll be linked from our website. So that's sort of a training program for people who are in distant locations and need services, but they don't know how to access them. Terrific. Great information. Thank you. Uh, Doreen, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah.